Welcome, I'm the math dude. You know that in algebra we use a lot of letters called variables and a lot of numbers. And those numbers and letters mean different things depending on their location and their size. If we have the expression 3x, that means we're multiplying whatever x represents by 3, 3 times x. But if we shrink the 3 and move it to the right and a little above the x, the 3 now becomes an exponent, and it means something entirely different. The 3 now tells us how many times x, which is the base of the expression, is used as a factor. So x to the third really means x times x times x. There are certain rules we use to manipulate exponential expressions. These rules together form the law of exponents. It's the law. If we wanted to multiply two exponential expressions, you might be surprised to find that we actually have to add the exponents. Let's take the example of x to the third times x to the fifth. Remember, x to the third means x times x times x, and therefore x to the fifth means x times x times x times x times x. So x to the third times x to the fifth is really x times 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 x, which is x to the eighth. Notice that since the exponents tell you how many times x is a factor, when we add 3 and 5 together, we get the number of times x is a factor in our product. So, when multiplying two exponential expressions with the same base, we add the exponents. It's the law. We can also raise an exponential expression to another power. If we wanted to raise x to the third to the fifth power, we actually multiply the exponents. Here's what I mean. The 5 on the outside of the parentheses means that x to the third appears as a factor five times, which is x to the third times 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 x to the third. But since x to the third really means x times x times x, then altogether we have x times 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 x, which is x to the 15th. So, when we raise a power to another power, we multiply the exponents. It's the law. We use that same idea when we take a power of a monomial. If we raise a monomial to a power, we raise each factor of the monomial to that power. If we're raising 2x to the fourth, y to the fifth, to the third power, we raise each factor, the 2, the x to the fourth, and the y to the fifth, to the third power. 2 to the 3rd means 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. x to the 4th to the 3rd is x to the 4 times 3, which is x to the 12th. And y to the 5th to the 3rd is y to the 15th. We raise each factor to the same power because it's the law. So, when you are dealing with exponential expressions, you must adhere to the laws of exponents. When multiplying expressions with the same base, add the exponents. When raising a power to a power, multiply the exponents. And when raising a monomial to a power, raise every factor to that power. Why? Because it's the law. And you don't want to violate the law. Sir, can I see your math license? My what? Your math license. You can't teach math without a license. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it, it didn't matter pants. No, no, really, really, guys, 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 can I offer you a donut?